Hello, this is Josh Engabretson from Thunder Beast Games with a look at how easy it is to deploy to Android from the Atomic Editor. Um, so I'm in the RoboMan example here, and uh, for right now it's pretty simple. He just kind of rotates in place. Uh, this is the editor preview I've got playing back. If I go ahead over to the build settings, I can see that I do have Android set as my current platform. And uh, there are some Android-specific settings, like the app name and package. I can also set my SDK path. And if I hit refresh, I can see exactly what APIs I have available. If I go ahead and do a build, I can see that I am building off for Android. And uh, right now, the editor is generating the APK and installing it on device and running it. So there you go. That was directly from the uh, editor. There wasn't any interim steps involved. Um, I can go ahead and make a change here. And I can see that inside the editor, I can preview that change. And I just made him spin faster, basically. And if I go ahead and do another build, uh, once again, generating the APK, installing on device, and running. And there you have it. It's uh, running on the Android device now with that change. So very, very quick iterations, uh, even when you're going out to device. And uh, so right now we're working on uh, an early access build of the Atomic Editor and Atomic Game Engine. Uh, this will be available around GDC, so stay tuned for that. Uh, until then, this is Josh Engabretson from Thunderbeast Games with the Atomic Editor and Android Deployment.